All right. Uh, so good morning, everyone. Again, uh, we'll start this lesson. Uh, so last day, uh, last week uh, we discuss about uh, basics of electronic business. I think uh, Ms. Uh, Hashini uh, taught you those uh, basic concepts and some uh, definitions as well. Um, before uh, the, the, that week, we discuss uh, the things uh, that we need. Uh, I mean uh, the fundamentals of uh, e-business, infrastructure things, the terms, those things we discuss uh, at the first lecture. Again, we're gonna continue the same. Today also we're gonna discuss about more uh, terms and technologies behind this electronic business. So right everyone, uh, as we discussed earlier, this is totally depend on internet. So last week we discussed about uh, internet of things and how what is the evolution of internet internet of documents internet of commerce internet of applications and after that now we are in era of internet of things internet electronic business kinaka based wenne sanikarama internet mother etoda api dan inne internet of things kiyana concept ekak athule so internet of things means we discussed last day uh, every device that we're going to use going to have an internet connection so we may have the control of all the electronic digital devices with our mobile phone that can be agriculture that can be healthcare that can be uh, home uh, related things householdings uh, buildings cities hospitals right companies office schools universities every in every location the devices that we use are going to connect to internet and they are going to communicate with each other automatically. <clears throat> right? So that's the concept. For example, uh, if there is a patient, right? let's say there is an accident in the road. So anywhere in that we are going to, the, the victim is going to wear, like uh, belt, bracelet, it's a digital bracelet. So then that bracelet or his shoes, right, can communicate with the ambulance and call for ambulance. His watch, right, what's that? So they are, if you know, accident attack, you know, they are banging in the watch, you know, ambulance, you know, call for ambulance. At the same time, if this uh, patient or the victim has some uh, health background, some, uh, then those health background also will be communicated to the hospital at the same time. From his smartphone or uh, kind of wearing. Karmia Dangin again at Tang watch again at Tang smartphone again. May they only may have health history. Power communicate current along automatically hospital like that while the transferring, right? So, like that, all the devices will have an internet connect connection and those devices are going to communicate with each other automatically. So, that is the concept behind Internet of Things. So all these uh, techniques depend on another concept that is called cloud computing. So that one may electronic business kine ka thani karama dain depend on me me cloud computing kine na base ka udar. So cloud computing means uh, we gonna keep all our applications, documents, data, everything on internet. Internet tege. Api api data applications uh, internet without depending on the local devices. That is called cloud computing. So again, uh, we can say that uh, cloud is something which is present at a remote location. Cloud is something is present at a remote location. So that means uh, there will be separate cloud service providers and we're gonna use their service for our applications right so in uh, when it related to the e-business applications such as uh, email web conferencing customer relationship management systems uh, enter enterprise resource planning systems so those kind of business related applications so those applications are going to work in Remote servers, remote computers. Now you know what is server, right? We discussed last day. So they're going to run in remote servers. So from anywhere, using any device, we can access those applications. 
related to your business. So, to, for your understanding, this is how it works. So, normally there are cloud service providers. Right. So, children, uh, we have internet. So again, there are people called cloud service providers. So those so such as uh, Google, Amazon. So I, I'm going to show you who are the uh, popular cloud service providers in the world. So assume that that's a company, right? Cloud service provider is a company. What they do, they provide different, different services through internet. One service is storage. So Google Drive, I think you have, you all have email accounts. So if you have a Gmail account, you have an online space, Google Drive. And it's also a cloud storage. Like that, there are people who maintain uh, special computers with high performance, and we call them servers. We call them servers. In these computers, they have uh, installed several, several applications. That can be a CRM or ERP system, Enterprise Resource Planning System. So it's a uh, kind of a software, we, you, I think you have learned it in MIS, ERPs. So it's a system which we use to run a business. It's a software application, right? So these software applications are installed in this computer, the server. And they also have a good internet connection. And what the company is going to do, what the business is going to do, uh, they're going to use internet and through internet, they are going to use the services provided by these cloud service providers. So assume that uh, this is a person who run his own business, right? So he don't have to maintain a data center. We discussed about data center, right? He don't have to maintain large computers, a good internet connection, in, uh, I mean, uh, with a high bandwidth, right? So like that, an office space, he actually don't need office space. Because all the things are going to store in a remote server. And when this person is at home, he can use the same. Even from his mobile phone, right? Mobile, if, if there is internet connection, they can use the same system. In, from anywhere in the world. From a, in any time, right? But cloud killer can make it. Maybe they are remote server. There are cloud service providers. They provide different different services through internet. As users, clients, we are going to use those services through internet. So that means we are using the, a cloud service. The concept behind this one is uh, whenever we go, a cloud will be available on top of us, right? So like that, all our applications and uh, software, data, everything going to available anywhere we're going to go without depending on the location. So that one is cloud can be run cloud man tamai dan business hame ekak ma duwanne hame ekak ma run wenne cloud kiyana ke sarala dans tamai wenama companies thiyenawa apata service provide karana api karanne internet connection ekak haraha e service pawachi karana etawata me computers wala api install karanne naha kisima software ekak okkoma software sahi pawachi karanne internet through eka tamai cloud system ekak kiyala kiyanne <clears throat> right so uh so cloud computing refers to manipulating configuring and accessing the hardware and software resources remotely actually we can access hardware as well so hardware means storage like right? let's say google drive so that means we are going to save something so to save something we need hardware so we are not going to use uh, the tangible hardware in our location. We're going to use a remote hardware for saving our data. So like that, uh, cloud company provide hardware and software solutions as well, right? So uh, Google Docs, it's a software, right? For uh, word processing, similar to Microsoft Word. We can use uh, Google Doc and using any device, we can uh, create documents. That's the software, right? However, they're gonna we're gonna use those remote hardware and software. So let's 
so cloud computing offers platform independency so the meaning is the software is not required installed in local pc so we don't have to use high performing local computers laptops and desktops right because we are not going to install softwares in our local computers using a web browser we are going to use the softwares available in cloud servers for internet ekara hama thamai api okkoma software use karanne hinda api kiyena cloud computing is platform independent kiyala again it is location independent you don't have to be in the office always you don't have to be at the at the at, in the company always right while you are traveling you can access the softwares and data if you have a internet connection again the application is mobile and collaborative so collaborative means multiple people can work together in one file one document so cloud computing provide high collaboration if one person can be in sri lanka another person can be in india another person can in usa right but at the same time they can use or you can edit the same file so that advantage is also there in cloud computing api inna thana dalane ownam kene kuda group pack vidiyata ekathu vela weda karanna puluwam me cloud computing platform ekak athule so those are very important in electronic business so i run uh, there are several uh, types of cloud computing cloud services one is called public cloud so public cloud means uh, those services and applications are easily accessible by general public for example google doc google sheets assume that you're going to run an electronic business by your own so you don't have to purchase uh, microsoft office microsoft excel right like that you don't have to purchase a good laptop to run your business what you can do is just create a gmail account and then you will have a number of software applications to run your business one is google sheets it's similar to excel so using excel you can run a business right you can keep on our own uh, accounting documents using excel so that facility is there so it's a public cloud anyone can access so if you have a laptop you can using google doc google sheets you can create on your accounts right account details account uh, records and uh, even from using your mobile phone or tab you can access the same file again if you have a friend in some any other location in the country any other area if she he or she also working with you then both of you can share the file and work together that facility is there so public cloud means those are publicly available anyone can use with their own own requirements right publicly available one can use karanna puluwa eke eke ekin adahas wenna api google account ekak hadala me google sheet ekak hadata eke one kenata access karanna puluwan kiyana me service ekak publicly available right then private clouds so there are some clouds those cloud services can be accessible only for one organization sir a organization ne kaya ta vitharamai e cloud ekak pawachi karanna puluwam wen cloud service ekak access karanna puluwam wen idara ewata pi kiyana private cloud kiyala so here there is a mistake we this should be correct as private cloud right private cloud then everyone next one is uh, community cloud so again uh, these community clouds means uh, there will be some clouds different different organizations use them as a community there are some services like that uh, for example if uh, uh, if a cloud service is provided from a government so all the government organization can access that so it's a community cloud 
then uh, hybrid cloud is a mix of them. A part of the cloud is private, the other part is public. So such kind of cloud services are there. The cloud services are there, you know? private, public, community and hybrid. Hybrid again, private, public, they came Ekatuak. So uh, depending on your business requirement, you can choose what kind of, what type of cloud that we're going to use. But I am on a cloud platform, again, called a business type. Okay, everyone. Uh, so this is uh, the service models of cloud computing. So cloud clients, they're going to use web browsers, mobile apps. Thin client is a device, right, which you can use to access the internet. So, however, the cloud clients, clients means users of the cloud. They're going to use internet accessible software to use these cloud services. So one service is application, software as a service, software as a service, right, here. Software as a service. The software as a service means, uh, if we're gonna run an electronic business, we may need some uh, software packages to keep or manage our business. In that case, there are cloud service providers who provide these software solutions for business. So then, uh, Google Doc, Google Sheets, that is also one, one thing, right? One software service that publicly available. Like that, some uh, actually email, right? Again, uh, CRM systems, payroll systems, uh, MIS, information systems, like that, different, different software solutions are there for which support to run, which support for a business, then those softwares are available as cloud services. Then platform as a service. So normally these platforms are provided for web and application development. So children nowadays, uh, a software or a web developer doesn't need, sorry, not software and developers, right? Uh, the person who want to run a business does not need that much of technical knowledge. That is because there are some uh, platforms available to keep make your websites, make your applications very easily. So Google Site is one such application. Right? Google Site. So if I show you that, Right here, and if you search uh, Google site, this is Google site. So using Google site, you can very easily create a website. These are templates. Some templates also available, right? So this kind of website you can very easily create, right? So what you have to do, this is Google site, right? Uh, you can add a text box like this and you can type. And uh, you can further customize that text.
right? Again, you can add images. So image and content. Right, you can add a video, you can upload an image, select image. Right, like this, you can select an image. And again, you can add the text. So like that, you can just uh, dragging these uh, elements here, you can very easily create a website, right? So these are cloud services, and these are these belong to the category of platforms as a service. So if you're going to run a business, very easily, it's, it's highly simple. You can create a website and publish that. So how do you make a website? Publish current apply using this cloud service platforms, right? Again, I think you all know Google Sheet. So this is Google Sheets. And some templates are there. Again, you can create a blank. So like that, you can create an Excel sheet and you, you can use that to manage your business accounts and report. Further, you can share these, right? Share. So if you share this document with someone, those people also can view the file or edit the file. You can set the permission. So if you have several few number of employees in your startup, you can, using just uh, these Google Sheets, you can manage all your reporting things, right? All right, children. So that is platform as a service. The next one is infrastructure as a service. Assume that you have your own website, right? Infrastructure as a service, right? So if you have your own website or your own software, then what you can do, then you can purchase a computer from a cloud service provider. So if you purchase a computer from a cloud service provider, they're going to give a space. You can right, you can you can uh, you will have a space there you can store all your software applications and everything and you can publish them so infrastructure really means this computer needs a internet connection and power supply and ac maintenance right security all these things are infrastructure so if we're going to run a web server assume that we have a website in our organization so to run that web server, we have to purchase a computer with high performance, a server, and we have to provide uh, a good internet connection to that. Again, we have to provide the power, again, a generator for backup power and AC because it's going to heat, generate heat, right? And again, we have to hire experts to maintain the server. So like that, there's a huge process behind maintaining a web server. But if you're going to use uh, these cloud services, cloud uh, infrastructure, it is very easy what we have to do. Just uh, contact a cloud service provider, purchase a computer, and you can easily set up your application there. All the other maintenance, uh, AC, power, everything will be taken care of by, took care by uh, those uh, service providers, right? So it's very easy for us. You don't have much burden there, right? So that is infrastructure as a service. So the Rune Wala Megana Danwatan Noni. Electronic business that can be Kataka Nana, uh, well, then I can in no maybe the ultimate use current Pula application software infrastructure to build uh, run your business, right? That is because uh, now for startups, we don't have to invest more money, right? For these uh, infrastructure actually, office space, uh, AC, power, 
uh, location, right? Registrations. You don't have to do so. So very easily using available platforms, available softwares, available uh, infrastructure in these cloud services, we can run our business. Up our business around the plan, how many see? Right. So this is a cloud computing service model. The other one is a anything as a service. XAS. So anything as service means you can obtain or we can uh, purchase space, software, uh, infrastructure, and everything as a package. That is called as anything as service. So network, business, business service means that there are business applications which allows you to run your entire business, right? Identity as service, again, databases, storage. So like that, different, different other services also available through this cloud computing. So children, uh, actually this is how it works as I explained earlier. Now you should be able to explain. Uh, these are the cloud servers. These are high-end servers which provide these services. They must have an internet connection. And even from your office, from home, even you are traveling, you can access your electronic business software, applications, data, your business data because this data is available here. From anywhere, without depending on the location, without depending on the platform, I mean the device, you can access same data and applications. Okay. Do you have any questions regarding this cloud computing? Everyone, do you understand? Please reply in chat. Okay. So these are the cloud service providers. You can contact Rackspace, VMware, Microsoft Azure, Amazon. Google is also there, right? Google Cloud Platform, DigitalOcean. So you can, you can go to the, these uh, company websites. And from there, you can request any of these previously discussed cloud services. And you can uh, purchase infrastructure. You can purchase uh, softwares. There are several softwares. So if you uh, go into their websites, you can see what are the cloud services available. Next, <clears throat> these are the benefits that we can have, we can achieve through cloud computing. So it's high speed and quick development. So we don't have to uh, waste our time on infrastructure development. It's quick. In some cases, if you're gonna use a, a platform to develop a website, so you don't have to uh, spend much time for coding, right? We can just drag and drop some elements and create a website very easily. Automatic software updates, we don't have to worry about updates because uh, the cloud service providers are going to update our software and may keep them keep them up to date, right? Efficiency and cost reduction. So it's really efficient because from anywhere you can access that. Again, collaboratively people can work even from their home, even from while, while they are traveling, as I said earlier. So 
so it increase efficiency and cost reductions because we don't have to pay for office locations we don't have to pay for water electricity ac and those things right we don't have to pay for cleaning maintaining all these cost will not necessary in cloud if you use cloud services right data security so they are in agreement to provide the data security for our data even they are third party third party service provider right scalability so if you need the more 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 if you're going to launch another service we can just quickly purchase another uh, computer there and uh, add our software right so it, it, very easily we can scale our business collaboration i explained earlier multiple people can work together and backup and restore data so they will keep backup of our data always if something happens nothing will happen right because uh, these cloud service providers always ensure that they're gonna provide the service or our service will available 24 7. so the, the service will never down right because they always maintain uh mirror servers backup servers so if something happened to the original computer always they have a backup and very quickly they will up the backup if you're gonna maintain a server right so server is a computer with high performance we are gonna uh, install or we're gonna host our applications from that computer right that's a server we discussed that in, in the first lesson right so if you're going to maintain a server it is not enough to maintain one server assume that we have a computer we have provide uh, internet again we have to provide, provide power and backup power we have to provide backup power right again uh, we have to maintain the server and provide ac again the location is necessary right so we have to we have a backup uh, backend process to maintain a server similarly we have to maintain another server similar to this one as a backup server that is because if any hardware damage is happened to this one our services will down because every service all the service will depend on this server right so then we have to maintain a backup server as well a similar one so that is also very costly but if we use a cloud service we don't have to worry about this one the cloud service provider always keep a backup server and if something happened to this one they will uh, replace that without knowing to the client Backup and restore data. Mobility. So mobility means while traveling, we can use some applications. You don't have to depend on a location. Data loss prevention. The data will never lose because they always ensure they're going to keep a backup and restore that immediately. Right. So those are the benefits. If you're going to use a cloud based applications cloud based platforms cloud based infrastructure to run our business okay children now you should be able to uh, convince someone why cloud computing is better in e business electronic business wala em prashna ekak ahano mehema kiyana dal gadak wala exam walata ahano oyalage prashna thamai ai cloud service ekak honda wenne api small business ekata the electronic business ekadi cloud service ekin thena apata benefits ekak monada ai ekak anithara honda wenne you should be able to explain right okay children then uh, <coughs> next one is a mobile computing so mobile computing also depend on the cloud computing So meaning here is mobile computing is the technology that allows us to transmit data, audio, and video via devices that are not connected with any public, any physical link. 
So that is the concept of mobile computing. So children uh, understand very clearly cloud computing is we will have a remote server and we will have internet and from our office or from our home or while traveling we can use these services. That is what cloud computing means. Mobile computing is this. Without connecting our devices to a physical internet link, we can use these services. That is what mobile computing means. So the key feature is, these mobile computing devices are portable and connected over a network. So they must have an internet connection. But again, they are portable, very small devices. In mobile computing. So mobile computing begins with the first laptop developed in 1980. See in the image also, the cloud platform is there, cloud servers, web applications, and this is mobile signal tower. And all these are mobile users, smartphone. Tablet, PDA, personal digital assistant, and again, laptops also there. Right? So, all these are mobile devices. So, accessing internet based services through mobile devices, portable devices, is called mobile computing simply. So then children, you must aware about what are the major elements of mobile computing, like mobile communication, mobile devices, mobile software. Because if you're going to run an electronic business, right, you must aware how your clients can access your data, access your application, access your uh, business. Again, how you can uh, train your employees to use these mobile platforms then you must have a clear understanding about the background technologies, right? So th that is why we are discussing this. So children, uh, first thing is mobile communication. So be because uh, nowadays, it is, mobile computing is very popular because everyone is using smartphones, right? So everyone is uh, doing their daily activities using smartphones, by, like banking transactions, shopping, uh, channeling, and uh, learning. All the things, almost all the things, right, will be done using these mobile devices. Therefore, this mobile computing is very popular in these days, right? So if you're going to run a business, you must focus on, highly focus on these mobile computing users. So to select layouts, select uh, some actual layouts and frames, right? Again, layouts, electronic business run karna website Facebook page Instagram page So when you're going to post an advertisement or something, then you must align those sizes which are fit to these mobile devices. Mobile devices can hit a lot sizes align However, you must aware the technologies behind that mobile computing as well. So children, uh, there are mobile communication. Mobile communication is the important thing. So normally, uh, the initial communication technology was cellular communication technology. Cellular means in uh, normal uh, telephone conversations, we use cellular phones, right? Cellular phones, cell phones, again. Now we call them smartphones. Earlier they, they were cell phones. So you can see in this image, there are cells, hexagons. Remember, Shadashakar cell lega. Tamai cover when the meta wave. Neokama cells. So rural areas, the size of the cell will be large. In urban areas, you can see there are 
high number of towers and the cell size is small because in a small area there will be multiple large number of users but me me rural area ka cell ka lock wenna hetu thamai me das me patthala minissu adui connect eka tower ekata connections gana adui api me patthi yala gatta minissu godak wedi e nisa eka tower ekata ena connections gana wedi etakota cell ekak size ekak kuda karanna wenawa then suburban areas ekala gana godak jana gahane wedi patthi wala me cell ekak thawath kuda wenawa however this is called a cell so when a mobile user move from one cell to another these towers will hand over that connection to the other tower that is how the cellular mobile phone connections work mobile connections are karanna mehemai so uh this cellular communication technology allow user to use mobile phones voice actually so a phone is a mobile phone is a bidirectional radio that enables simul simultaneous transmission and reception but mega byte bidirectional yana de pattata data communicate karanna puluwa use uh, device ekak using radio waves so now the cellular connection based on the geographical divisions of the communication coverage area into cells mara kalin kiyapu katha each cell is allocated a given number of frequencies so this this cell has a free defined frequency range me okkoma yanna mehema tarangayak widiyata ne they go as a ray so each tower has different different frequencies so then multiple users can connect to the tower and they can talk users la godak eka tower ekak karaha sambandha karanna puluwan koma thiyena because they are using different different frequencies okay so that is called cellular com cellular communication call ekak ganna wenna me cellular communication ekak hara thama issara so children after that this was developed to gsm global global system for mobile communication so this earlier first generation communication technology that means cellular technology is the base of this uh, communication so me communication a base ekak thamai cellular technology kela kiyanne still we are using towers and cells are there right but technology is now in advanced so then there is another protocol was introduced that is called gsm global system for mobile communication and in this this uh, gsm technology so this uh, this was followed by the cellular technology and uh, this standard defined as digital so they started digital communication using gsm so the first generation using a first generation mobile phone they were able to take a video call only again in the second generation you can see i also have have used this kind of a mobile phone nokia phone this to nai 10 da mokadda tibbe anke so using this mobile phone we can just take a phone call and again we can send a text message eda sala lamai me me jathiya phone pawachi karana kale api call ekak ganna rupiyal පහලවක් විතර වගේ කැපෙනවා කෝල් එකකට එක මිනිත්තුවකට ඊට පස්සේ එන කෝල් එක රිසීව් වෙන කෝල් එක රුපියල් 7ක් හෝ 8ක් චාර්ජ් වෙනවා ඉන් 1990s රයිට් ඒ කියන්නේ කෝල් එක අපිට ආවත් චාර්ජ් වෙනවා එහෙනම් ටග් ගාලා කෝල් එක තියෙන ඉස්සර මිස් කෝල් ගහන්න ඉන්න ोल 
මොකද පොන්නක ආස කරන රුපියල් 7ක් චාර්ජ් වෙනවා අර යන 13ක් 15ක් චාර්ජ් වෙනවා ආස කරපු කෙනාට චාර්ජ් වෙනවා වල් එක ගත්තනවා චාර්ජ් වෙනවා එන්න කෝල් ආස කරන්න නැහැ ලේසි කියලා දවස් හරි ඔකේ සෝ චිල්ඩ්‍රන් වි විල් ඩිස්කස් දිස් ජෙනරේෂන්ස් වන් බයි වන් so first generation so these are the mobile phones isaraya kawuda amatiyoru ehema innakota egolla gawa inna body gahasla me wage loku phone ekak athe thiyan thama yanna that's call like you know tag gala dogena gala denawa phone ekak e wage amuthu sanskrutiyak thamai thibuna hari okay so these are 4g mobile phone prefer to the first generation of wireless cellular technology so the first generation ekak thamai me uh introduced in 1980s so this is the second generation so sim card was introduced in the second generation and refer to the second generation of mobile networks based on gsm the radio signal used by first g network were analog while 2g networks were digital so using the sim cards they they were able to use digital uh, communication right so these are the cell phone types and this uh, this is a blackberry right අසල් බ්ලැක්බෙරි එක කතා කියනවා කියලා කියන්නේ පොරක් තමයි. ඒ මැනේජර්ස් ලා ලොකු ලොක්ක ඔක්කොම බ්ලැක්බෙරි තමයි අතේ තියන්නේ හිටියා. හරි. ඔකේ. සෝ ආයි ඔල්සෝ හැඩ් ද දිස් කයින්ඩ් ඔෆ් මොබයිල් ෆෝන් දෝස් ඩේස්. රයිට්. දෙන් එවරන් 3G uh 3g standards utilize uh, universal mobile technology system so with this uh, 3g network or third generation uh, the communication providers were able to allow users to use internet with the development of third generation mobile communication again data uh, transferring rate also somewhat faster මේ 3G තමයි ඉස්සලා තිබ්බ ඉන්ටර්නෙට් යූස් කරන ටෙක්නොලොජි එක ඉට්ස් කයින්ඩ් ඔෆ් ස්ලෝ බට් වි වර් ඇබල් ටු යූස් ඉන්ටර්නෙට් යූසින් 3G ඊවන් ඉන් දිස් ඉමේජස් ද Facebook and uh, those things were there but those applications were not popular in those days actually right actually i don't facebook facebook was not there actually in 3G uh, when uh, the mobile users are using 3G right okay how about what you must understand is the technology development 3g with the 3g uh, implementation users mobile users were able to use internet using their mobile phones right now 4g so main difference between 4g 3g and 4g is the data rate data communication rate is the improvement there is no that much of technical improvement uh, the only improvement is the data receiving and transmitting rate was improved so uh, again uh, due to this uh, technology technology development technology change 3g mobile phones will not support nowadays uh, internet connections we can't access internet using a 3g mobile phone now because all the data internet transmission is uh, conducted in 4g technology fourth generation technology so if we have a 3g mobile phone we will not be able to access internet right so in the, the main development is the technology in 4g is called mimo multiple input multiple output is the technology which improves uh, these mobile devices from third generation to fourth generation athara meke thiyena vaasi thamai low cost per bit transmission of a bit इनकमिंग फ्री थ्री जी आवर्ड पास ඊට පස්සේ අපි කියන්නේ කෝල නේම් ඩිස්ප්ලේ වෙන ඒක කෝල නේම් ඩිස්ප්ලේ වෙන සර්විස් එකක් චාර්ජ් කරපු සර්විස් එකක් ඒ දවස්වල මාසෙකට ගානක් චාර්ජ් වෙනවා මේ 
CLI call and name display karanga. So that is how the mobile devices were developed. Mobile communication was developed, right? Again, children, uh, now the world is using 5G. So it is called massive MIMO, multiple input, multiple output. So this is these are developed to uh, enhance the user experience. This is important. So these phones are more user friendly. These communication steps are more user friendly than the 4G uh, communication technologies and mobile phones. Again, the speed can be go up to 10 gigabits per second. So it's a very high speed. So now again, uh, 5G is said to be as much as 10 times faster than 4G. So now we are using uh, videos, right? We are watching videos, we are using internet, using a mobile phone, right? Now you have experience about the speed. Yeah, we internet user and speed they are not experience like that. Then that time then at that time slowness like that. Then next time what? Internet like speed. But with implementation of 5G, we can have a 10 times faster speed than fourth generation. So that data transmission may get which are the enhancer. Right, so that is about uh, cellular communication and GSM. GSM technology. So global system for mobile communication. Do you have any question to ask? Even is it clear everyone? All right, then uh, we can go forward.